Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 18.5 of my Let's Play of Momus Quest Paradox RPG. Confrontation chapter. This is an alias aside of our trip into the Tartaros. Again we call out the White Rabbit for putting this obstacle in our way. Let's see, Ilias does have one insightful thing to say in this conversation. Yeah, this is where the White Rabbit suspects she's going to be chased by either Marcellus or Nero. She says she is a manifestation of, princi of a principle. A natural law principle kind of thing. Elias can say, okay, so you, you're not an individual existence, but a manifestation. So in other words, you're a higher level notion that possesses its own will. Not that the White Rabbit actually answers. So a high level concept, possessing its own will. Well, maybe she's right. Of course, it's a white rabbit. You'd never know. You know, even though the White Rabbit says so, I really wonder if Nero is related to Luca. I mean, obviously Marcellus is related to Luca, and they like look exactly alike. And then there's Heinrich. He looks look just like Luca too. Interestingly, if you have succubus in your party, she says she's interested in seeing the succubus village in this different world. Mysterious feeling to it. So, the story stays the same here. Yes, I'm, I'm hungry. Yes, I'm still high energy. Now, something interesting that happened in my trial run here was one of those end of turn things that the enemies sometimes do popped up. And they asked me, okay, you're not high energy, so who are you? And if you give the right answer, you get 10 affection points with her. Do you know what the right answer was? I'm high energy's descendant. So, that's interesting, isn't it? No wonder they look alike. But, if Nero's actually related, he's really the odd man out in the family. He doesn't look anything like Luca. Yeah, just a thought, anyway. Or maybe next time we see him, we should take a little closer look. I thought his hair was black, but maybe it's really just a dark purple. So this conversation goes a little differently. Hmm. Okay. Basically the same, actually. Interesting, though, once Mephisto gets that telepathic signal and starts talking to herself, Elias immediately says that she's too young to be going senile. Just the mean thing she says to people. So, same thing. The Mao army attacking Gran Noah and Grangold 
and Savasa and Sanilia. So we're gonna go. It's Grand Noah again. So it's the same story, except Black Alice didn't. Wait, I can just leave? That's crazy. Black Alice didn't tag along this time. She'll only tag along if Alice is your character or is your companion. So here we are. Same story here. You know, when I do these Elias Asides, I wonder sometimes if it's really worth it. All that happened was Alice Stromelia didn't come along with us. And here you have a whole, whole episode explaining it. But it's part of the full experience of the game, so I guess it's my duty to show it to you. In any case, now that we've done that, we get to handle Sabasa and Sanilia and... Grand Gold, who are all having pretty much the same problem. So thanks for watching and next time we'll do the just that. <laughs>